Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I literally have gotten up so many freaking times already. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Um, so I'm very excited for today's video. I am going to be doing a Valentine's makeup look, and it's not gonna be anything too too crazy. I'm gonna be doing something that you guys can recreate for Valentine's, and I am doing it early on. We still have like a month or so. That's good because that way you guys have time to look through these YouTube videos. And I am talking too much. Sorry about that. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I do beauty related videos um, as well as lifestyle videos and other, all kinds of videos. So you all can see I already did my eyebrow. So I am going to be using the Jack Lint palette for this one. We're going to go ahead and use this a very light brown here that we have here. My birthday is before Valentine's Day. I'm so special. I am a Cupid baby as you all well not all of you as you, some of you might know. I was born on the 13th of, of February. February. I was actually born on a Thursday, not a Friday. Because you know what they say about Friday the 13th. Next, I am going to be using um, this pink from the, the Morphe palette by Lisa Frank. You guys, I love this palette. It's going to be my first time using it. I get it for Christmas. Thanks, Daisy. I love it so far. Well, like I said, I haven't really used it. Just add a light pink and put that on top right here as another translucent color. Like, like I said, my birthday is the 13th of February. I've had it land on the Friday the 13th before. You guys won't believe me. Like, actually, like, weird stuff did happen. Nothing crazy to me happened, but I used to work at Kroger a long, long time ago. So I remember one of the first things that did happen. There was a lady, an old lady that got ran over outside, you guys outside that she did survive because somebody had came and said later on that you know she survived she was fine but they you know like since she was older and stuff they did take her to the hospital but she was fine it was nothing like too crazy like somebody just backed up and didn't see her but that was one weird thing that did happen next i am gonna be using like this orangey color and i'm gonna mix that with the hot pink to create kind of like a peachy color this is a good one pretty nice so far and I'm just adding that right here and then I'll go ahead and blend it then you know I didn't think anything of it right so the next thing that did happen was there was uh, a little kid who actually got lost in the store you guys like he like got lost the parents were looking for like they were going crazy you know I mean I could imagine like if my kid got lost too I don't have kids but I can imagine if my kid got lost so I would be the same you know so they were like freaking out and everything so they had like done a report or whatever now with that one to be quite honest with you guys uh that one i don't remember if they had like updated us then about it it was such that was a while ago but yeah our kid did get lost in the storm so i don't know if like somebody kidnapped him one with like a family member because you know sometimes things like that happen like if the girl like the husband and the wife are like separated i am going to go in with like this oh uh, like whitest kind of shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette that I used earlier. I'm just gonna go ahead and ooh. This one has always been, honestly guys, one of my favorite one. Like is so look how pigmented that is. Like I, I didn't even put anything on the brush. It's so freaking good. So I'm gonna be using this these three right here okay i'm just gonna blend that into do the next following one and i did change my brush it's more like a, a super fluffy brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that right here and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it with my finger that's really it i'm not gonna do nothing too too crazy with eyes it was just like i said a very simple look so you guys you know can get to it and i am gonna be using eyeliner but i'm basically only going to line the outer part wow, wow. so i did go ahead and apply my concealer and my my foundation and concealer 
<laughs> oh my gosh and I did clean up this area sorry my camera died so I had to charge the battery you know so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes so this is the uh, powder from NYX and I'm trying it out to see if I like it okay wow and um wow it's amazing wow like what the heck it melt it's a, such a good powder i've been having such a hard time finding like a good powder for me i finally found one that i can say that it's good i still want to try the fit me the Femi powder i heard a lot of good things about it now the only thing is that every time i go to the freaking store they don't have it okay so i did contour i just forgot to record so now i'm gonna go in with my seven year old blush from what is it called from um mac <laughs> i've been having it forever you guys and i'm gonna go ahead and i'll apply that it's such a good blush like i'm not gonna lie but but i need a new one i'm gonna go ahead and apply these they were only a dollar from dollar tree and i like their lashes they're like super amazing wonderful and i like the strip because it's like super duper thin so let me go ahead and apply them and i'll be like right back you guys did they be you know it's from the dollar when they freaking staple it like <laughs> is it necessary to staple that gosh it's all right okay you guys so while uh, that is drying my lashes I'm gonna go ahead and back in with this and apply some of the pink in. and not apply some of the other color right here beautiful beautiful so what I am going to do is I am going to do the inner corner right here with the eyeliner just like that you know to make it look pretty so basically i have a really pointy eyeliner this is the next eyeliner so it helps a lot look it already made such a big difference um i do have like almond shape eyes so that helps too like that so my lashes are still drying you guys so i'm gonna go in with my wooden wire highlighter because it's like one of the best ones ever you guys like you already know that i've been having this forever it's like literally like four dollars i don't know if they still have it i got this like years ago i don't make a big spires but you know i've been having a blush for seven years and this one for like four years and it's still pretty bomb to me look at this look do y'all see that did did, did y'all see that Ooh, oh, okay. I think I put a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna go and um, I'm blending with this brush right here. Doesn't look too crazy. I know some people are not like the biggest fan of highlighter. I used to be like a super big fan. I mean, I'm still am, just not as much as I used to be, honestly. Mm -hmm. But like, it makes your skin look like super glowing everything so i'm gonna go ahead and put some right here in my nose and right here so i did go ahead and apply the lashes already um now i am lining my lips with the nyx um crayon liner okay so okay so next i'm gonna go with the this, this lip gloss filler from Maybelline, so it's supposed to make like your lips plumpy, plumpy. Ooh, this is like one of my favorite. You guys, look at it. This is the end of the video. This is the final look. My skin is glowing. Glowing. I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that it was very helpful for you so if you do not know what kind of Valentine's look this could be it it wasn't that complicated to like the eyeshadow was super easy because there's no like cut crease or anything and my skin is looking very glowy and I really really like the turnout of it I should have done my braces pink I'll probably do it for next one pink <laughs> um because they're blue it would have been like gone perfect with the look but it's okay try out this makeup and if you do let me know comment down below 
what other videos you guys would like to see make sure you subscribe to my channel like comment and share and thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow me on instagram i'll link it down below and i will see you guys in my next one bye